In this video, I'd like to demonstrate a new mission command uh, that we're adding support for in Copter 4.3. It is called Attitude Time. And what it allows you to do is specify uh, that the vehicle should fly at a particular attitude for a specified number of seconds. So for example, you could say, uh, pitch forward at 20 degrees and fly north, or um, hold a stable attitude, a hover, and float with the wind for 15 seconds, that, that kind of command. Um, it also uh, doesn't require GPS because it's just doing attitude control. So any kind of you know, EKF fail safes or whatever that, that might occur um, during that period of time are ignored. So it could be useful um, if you wanted to float with the wind to see what the wind speed is, or if you wanted to, you know, for example, momentarily fly under a bridge where you know there's gonna be no GPS, it could be useful for that kind of situation. So um, let's give it a quick try in the simulator. I've set up this mission, which starts with the takeoff command to 10 meters. Uh, then there's a waypoint command where it's flying up here, uh, a little bit north. And then it has three attitude time commands. So the first one, it's gonna fly for 30 seconds at a pitch of minus 20, which is leaning forward, and a yaw of 90, which is east. Then it's going to hold a level hover for 10 seconds, so we'll see it floating with the wind. And then finally, it's gonna fly another 30 seconds, uh, again, pitch forward at 20 degrees, and it's gonna fly west this time. And then it does an RTL, all right? Now I have set uh, the auto options parameter to three, meaning that um, as soon as I arm in auto mode, it's going to start the mission. Oh, and by the way, I have um, set the simulator to run at three times the normal speed. So it's in auto mode and then arm. Now what I'm also going to do is once it starts the attitude command, I'm gonna disable the GPS. So there it is, now it's flying east. I'm disabling the GPS. You can see it keeps on going. EKF variants, no problem. Now I'm going to re-enable the GPS. You see it jumped a little bit on the map. That's because it suddenly knew where its position was. Now it's flying back. You can see there's a slightly northward, northward uh, wind, so it, it drifted. That's all has to be expected. And now it's RTL'd home successfully. 